afternoon, everybody. We continue Wellness Wednesday with a cardiac rehab session and it is the last exercise session of the day. So over to you, Beth. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kate. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm Beth from UH&M Cardiac Rehab Team. You might have met me already, but I haven't taken your session in a few weeks. So it's nice to be back. And um, thank you again for joining me for today's session. So please make sure that before we start today, you are feeling fit and well, um, as in the safety video that Kate's just played for you there. Make sure you've read through that and make sure you're feeling um, well and fit to exercise today. If you do have any problems or concerns, that means that you don't think you should exercise today, please speak to a member of your cardiac rehab team or a different medical professional. Um, and you can always tune back in at a later date and join me for this session so you don't miss out. It is nice and warm outside today, um, so please make sure that you've got good airflow wherever you're exercising, that is really important. The hotter you are, the hotter your heart's working, so making sure that you've got some nice airflow coming into the room. Um, and all you'll need for today's exercise session is a drink, a couple of tins of beans and a chair as well. So I've got my setup behind just there. Um, so if you've got a couple of tins of beans or anything alternative, like a lightweight, a couple of bottles of water, a couple of bottles of milk or something like that, um, just so that you can add a little bit of resistance to the movement. All of the movements can be done without. So if it's not right for you today, if you've got any problems with your joints for any of the particular exercises, then you can always just leave those ones out and join back in with me for the ex ex next exercise. That's absolutely fine. So I think we're pretty much ready to get started. So we're gonna get started with our warm up. And then towards the end of the warm up, we're gonna increase the intensity. We're gonna go straight into something that's gonna get you feeling a little bit hotter, a little bit sweaty and short of breath. So a bit of cardiovascular exercise to start with. Then we're going to bring these levels down ever so slightly. We're going to have a nice drinks break and a little rest and we're going to go into a couple of resistance exercises but I'll explain all of that as we go through the session today. Um, takeaway points is you've got a bit of everything today so let's get started shall we. Um, so grab your bits and get ready. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do the warm up today in a standing position. Everything that I do stood up, you can do in the chair, that's absolutely fine. We're just going to start off tapping heels in front. I'll turn that down a bit. Be a proper party. Hopefully, you can hear that and me as well. So this is the warm up, so we're starting nice and gradually and we're building it up nice and gradually, okay? So I don't want you to go in at 100 straight away, it's just about getting your heart, getting your body ready for the exercise today, okay? So nice and slowly, nice and gradual. Let's take that into a side step, so just tapping one leg out to the side, again just nice and slow. Lovely. And tapping back in front again. Taking it at your own pace. If I'm going a little bit too fast for you, and um, you can go a little bit slower than me today, that's absolutely fine. And we're going to take it into a little march, okay? So just feet coming ever so slightly up off the floor. Brilliant. Okay, let's take it into a couple of nice big shoulder rolls there then. Couple of nice deep breaths as well. Well done. And just back into that heel dig. So heel out in front. If I show you from the side, I am doing a little bend with my knee now just to get my leg muscles activated and ready for the workout today. 
Okay, let's just introduce a little bit of upper body. So just slowly, we're gonna bring the arms up to touch the shoulders. You can be doing this exercise in the chair as with all of the warm up exercises if you prefer. So you just pick the level that's right for you today. Well done. And we'll take it back into the little march. So feet just coming slightly up off the floor. That's lovely. And then we'll just do a couple of raises with the arms up and down. Well done. You can start to grow those a little bit bigger as you feel your range of movement improving. If you've got any problems with joints, any problems with your shoulders, just go as far as your shoulders will allow. If this is making you feel quite breathless and quite tired, just leave out the arms. We are only doing the warm up at the moment, so I don't want you to be feeling like you're doing too much too soon. Okay, let's take those shoulders up to your ears, so we're going to do some shrugs, okay? So all the way up all the way down. So rather than a circle this time like that, I'm just going up and down. Well done. And then we're going to take it into a couple of side raises. Again, you can start the movement nice and small and then gradually increase it as your shoulders feel like they're allowing it. So they can go up a bit higher. Well done. Okay, let's take it back into a heel dig. This time we're bending that knee slightly further so you can see that I'm bobbing up and down a little bit more this time. And if you want to, you can start to pick up the pace a little bit now because we're starting to get that blood flow around the body. Well done. Okay, let's take that into a side step. So just nice and gently step in side to side. Well done. And we're going to get our upper body involved here. I want a little bit of rotation. If you're sitting in the chair, take that into toe taps but you can still be doing a bit of rotation, okay? So all of these are movements that we are gonna be using a little bit later on in the exercise session today. So it's really good to get all of these different areas warmed up, mobile and ready for the session. Well done. Okay. And we'll stop there, we're just gonna take it into a nice gentle march, okay? You can start to bring these knees up a little bit higher now if you want to. Make sure you focus on your posture and your breathing as well. So when you're marching, if you stood up or sat in the chair, try not to let your back go like this. No leaning forwards, no slouching, it's shoulders back, chest up, and a big smile on your face as well. <laughs> I suppose that bit is optional, but it is good exercise. Well done. Okay, I'm going to slow that movement down and we're going to start to bring it a little bit higher. So I've slowed down, but my knees are coming up a little bit further now. Again, this is just still the warm up. So if this is making you feel quite breathless or like you're working a little bit too hard, you just drop it back a little bit or go for the chair option as well. Well done. Okay, we're going to go back into a heel dig. And this time, we're going to do slightly more active with the upper body. We're going to do an opposite arm bicep curl. Okay, now don't worry if you're struggling with your coordination. It's one leg and then the other and then the opposite arm up to your shoulder. To be honest with you, as long as you're moving, it doesn't really matter at this stage what you look like. So if you're all out of sync, 
don't worry too much about it. As long as you're moving and getting that heart rate up nice and gradually. Let's take it into two arms together. Well done. And then double speed, a little bit faster. Well done, that's excellent. Okay, and drop those arms out, keep your feet going. Okay, we're going to take it back into a side step. So one side, then the other. And let's take it into two one way and two the other if you've got enough space. If you're seated for this one, it's open nice and wide and together. You can do two on each side to match what we're doing in the standing position. Well done. And then we'll add a little bit of a swing with the arms as well. Now, obviously, the bigger you make these movements, the more you're going to be working your body at this stage. So if it's a bit tricky, keep them nice and small. And that's it. Have a little dance as well. Don't be afraid to look a bit daft when you're exercising. That's all part of the fun. I'm exercising right in front of my, my nice big window there so all my neighbours can see me. They should be joining in with me, really, shouldn't they? Keep it going, just a couple more. Well done. Okay, and let's stop there. If you're in the seated position, you're going to pop one leg out and just push it slightly further and hold that position. If we're standing, just open the legs and just a little bend into one of the sides. And then over to the other. So we're just transferring our weight from one side to the other. Keeping it nice and dynamic at this point. So this is still the warm up. So we don't want to stop moving all together and lose all of that um, good preparation that we've just done for our body. Take it back into a march. And then you're going to pop one hand on top of the other. And we're just going to twist out the upper body, okay? So one side and then the other. Well done. And relax those arms and give that body a little bit of a shake out. Keep your feet moving for me. We're going to do um, and the next exercise, a box step, okay? So we're going to do step forward, step forward, step back, step back. And then we're going to do four marches and then change legs. So forwards, forwards, back, back, okay? Just let me check my time. Okay, so keep marching on the spot and we're going to try and do this exercise for a minute, okay? So this is where we're going to start picking up the intensity uh, towards the end of your warm-up. So forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. Forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Back, back. One, two, three, four. Forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. If you're seated, it can look the same. Forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. Forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. Keep that going. Now, the further you step forwards and the more bend you have in this knee as you do it, it's going to work it even harder. Forwards, forwards, back, back. One, two, three, four. So you pick the right distance for yourself. Okay. We're going to take it into four marches and four quick punches. So one, two, three, four. Punch, 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 punch. One, two, three. Three, four, punch, 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 punch. Keep going. This is where you get to take a bit of anger out on you for the day. One, two, three, four. Nice fast movements. Nice powerful punches. Well done. Two, three, 
four. Again, this can be done seated as well. One, two, three, four. March, 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 march. Punch, 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 punch. Keep going. Really getting this upper body involved now. One, two, three, four, last four marches. Well done. And then we're going to take it back into that box step. But this time we're going to do a step to the side, a step to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side, to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side, to the side. I'll show you seated. One, two, three, four, to the side, to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side, to the side. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer now, like you're doing a bit of exercise. I certainly feel like I am now. Take breaks as and when you need to. And if you want to grab a drink as well, that's absolutely fine. Do that. Forwards, forwards, back, back to the side, to the side. And again, forwards, forwards, back, back to the side. Well done. Okay, and stop there. So next exercise, we're going to do a punch to the side and then swap over. So we're going to go middle. If you want to make it harder, you can do a little bend in the middle, get nice and low and nice and powerful on these punches. Okay, if you've recently had a device fitted, don't sort of cross across that device, don't cross across the body, just use it as a good practice with some twisting, focusing on your posture. So you're either here or you're here, taking out your anger with me. If you're seated, same thing, you've got option here or here. Okay, so you pick the level that's right for you today. We're almost there, we've got about 10 seconds to go on this one. Okay, well done. And stop there. We're going back into forwards, forwards, back, back. This time we're going to do one, two, three, four punches above your head. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Up, two, three, four. If your shoulders don't allow this one, keep it a little bit smaller. That's absolutely fine. You could also punch in front again. Like so, if that's easier on your shoulders. But if you've got it in, you have a go. Up, 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 up. That's it. Almost there now. Punch, 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 punch. Keep going. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Punch, 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 punch. Ten seconds. Well done, and stop there, back to your marching, well done, and let's do a couple of nice big circles, take a moment there to catch your breath, that was quite hard towards the end of that, I've got little pink cheeks now, I hope you have as well, grab yourselves a drink, take a couple of deep breaths, and we're going to start slowing it down a little bit now, and then we're going to enter into some resistance exercises okay so the resistance stuff is for your muscles in your body which is really really important and um, people sometimes think that because you've got a heart problem you only need to do cardiovascular exercise and we we really do recommend you have a go at doing a resistance section of your exercise once or twice a week okay so it's really good for improving these muscles strengthening and um, reduces the risk of falls and um, just improves general quality of life because you can find your your daily tasks a lot easier when you're nice and strong okay so take a moment there to catch your breath grab yourself a drink and then i'll talk you through the next section i'm going to have a little drink as well Okay, so for the next section, you will need to use um, some weight. We don't need to, but you can use some weights, okay? So I'm going to use my tins of beans there for, for my resistance today. What we're going to do is we're going to do six different exercises.
exercises and they're combination exercises. So they're going to be a bit of everything. So not just focusing on one muscle group. We're doing a bit of everything across the body today. So we're going to do those six exercises three times each. For the first time, we're going to do them for 30 seconds, so nice and short. And then we're going to have a nice 30 second rest. The second time we do those six exercises, we're going to do it for 40 seconds, so a little bit longer, with a little bit less rest. So we'll do it for 20 seconds rest. And then the final section of those six exercises that we're going to repeat will be the longest section because that will be for 50 seconds on and then 10 seconds rest. That's how I'm going to do it with you today. However, if that is not right for you, if you need to take more rest than I'm taking, then please do so. Just listen to your body and rest as and when you need it. I can also help to make those exercises a little bit easier or more challenging. As always, I'll be giving you some options as we go along. Okay. Hopefully, you've kept your feet moving slightly. But what I want you to do is, if you're standing, I just want you to have a little walk around your living room, okay, or wherever you're exercising with me today. So however much space you've got, just a couple of up and downs there. If you're in the chair, just a couple of those heel digs to keep your feet moving, okay? So really, really focusing on preparing the body for this next section of exercise for us, okay? You keep your feet moving, and as you do so, I will explain the first exercise. So, the first exercise is going to be for the back of our legs here, which is hamstring curls, okay? So, hold on to something if you need to. Hold on to the back of your chair. You're going to bring your foot up to your bottom, and then bring it back down, and swap sides. So, up and down like that. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this. So, the first way is super fast like this, which sometimes I do. That's for cardiovascular, that's to get your heart rate up. Today we're doing it slower because we're aiming to really, really focus and improve this muscle, okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. We've got 30 seconds all the way up, slowly down. So a couple of seconds for each one at least. Hold on to something if you need it. Now the first round will go pretty quick because we are only doing it for 30 seconds, okay? So don't worry if you've not quite got the hang of it by then because we'll be repeating all of these exercises again so you'll have plenty of chance to master them then. Okay, one second and stop there. Marching on the spot to recover. Next exercise, we're going to do a knee raise and a bicep curl, okay? And bring it down. So... You're still recovering from the first exercise there, so don't breathe, don't, don't have to start just yet. But holding on to the, the tins, knee up, bring it in, bring it down. Now we're nice and slow, nice and controlled. If your balance isn't so good, hold on to the chair and just do it with one arm and then hold on. Okay, so off we go. 30 seconds have started. With this exercise, bicep curls, it's really important to remember to keep your elbow right into your hip okay so it's no good at doing this that's not doing anything for your muscle keep it into your hips into the side of your body nice and controlled up and down <clears throat> well done keep that going almost there now and relax that's excellent again don't worry you'll get a chance to do all of these exercises again okay next one we're going to do is a sit to stand and an upright row. Okay, so sit down, stand up, upright row. So bring your elbows right up as if you're pulling a piece of string that's attached to your toes. Okay, are we ready? Off we go. So off we get, elbows up, slowly down, and back to seated. Well done. If it's a bit too much for you, you can just do a little lean and up. Or you can just focus on the sit to stand if you would rather. But if you want to do the full thing with me. And stop there and rest. Well done. It doesn't matter how many you get in in the time. 
I would much rather you do them with correct form and work in the right muscles, okay? So don't rush, it's no problem at all. Okay, next one is going to be seated and you're going to go opposite hand to opposite foot, okay? So we're kind of crunching at the middle. So this is going to be one for your abs and also for these muscles here at the top of your legs. Now you can do this with or without weights, it's up to you. Off you go, keep going with me if you can. If you're struggling to get your leg all the way up, just go as far as you can. If you're here today, that's no problem. It's all about making the exercise the right level for yourselves today. Five seconds, keep that going. Well done, and stop there. Okay, we've got 30 seconds rest, so I'll show you the next exercise during the rest period. So we're going to do some side lunges, okay? So you can hold on to the weights or not. You're going to step to the side and push back in, and then tip over to the other side. Now, if you want to do any exercise with your arms, you can. If not, just hold the weights in here, down here, or pop them down. It's completely up to you. Off we go. So push off that bent knee. If you're seated today, again, nice big step out to the side, okay? Well done, stand up nice and tall. I think with this one, there is a temptation to lean forward slightly, but make sure you stay nice and tall. Big push off that leg, almost there. And stop there, marching on the spot for recovery. Well done. Next one we're going to do, okay, is a heel raise and a side raise. Okay, so feet slightly apart. Hold on to something with your hands if you need to. Hold on to a chair. You go up onto your tiptoes and down. And then arms out to the side and down. Up and down, out and down. Okay. You can do them at the same time if you're feeling particularly brave, if you've got particularly good balance. So it's either up and down, out and down, or up and out and down, depending on your balance. If you're not feeling stable, make sure you pick the right level for yourself today. If you're seated, same thing, up and down, out and and down, you'll still feel it in the right muscles, so don't worry, that's great. Up and down, out and down, and rest, well done. Keep your feet moving, uh, we've got 30 seconds of rest, and then that is the first um, set complete, so we're gonna move on to the next round. Now the next round's slightly harder, because as I said, we're changing the time slightly, so this time, we're doing it for 40 seconds instead of 30, and we're only gonna give ourselves 20 seconds rest, okay? You pick the level that's right for you. First exercise is hamstring curls. So, foot up to the bottom. Hold on to something if you need that balance. Well done. So again, you should really feel that in the back of your leg there, between your bottom and your knee. If you can't feel it, slow down a little bit and see if that helps. Focus on your breathing, don't hold your breath. If it is making you feel quite breathless, and if you're struggling to hold a conversation, you might just need to bring the level down a little. Well done, rest and recover, give your legs a shake out. Okay, so next exercise is the knee raise bicep curl combo. Okay, so you've got 10 seconds. Are you ready? I know you can't reply to me, but I'm assuming you're all sat at home going, yes, we're ready for that. Okay, off we go. Knee up, up, down, down. Knee up, shoulders down, down. Well done. Really focus on making these movements good and strong. And remember, bicep curl technique is to keep the elbow glued into your hips, okay? So none of this. If you're doing this, you probably look like you're doing loads, but it's probably a lot easier than it should be. Keep breathing, don't hold that breath. 
Well done. Five seconds. We're almost there. One and stop and rest. Okay. Give your shoulders a little bit of a, a circle out to recover there. Next exercise is the sit to stand and the upright row, which looks like this. So you sit down, stand up and pull it up, elbows high. Again, if you stay in the chair, if you don't want to do the sit to stand, just go for the upright row. Time started, off we go. 40 seconds. So this exercise is using the top of your back. So up right below your neck, that's where you should be feeling it. If you're not feeling it, just have a little slow down and make sure that you're in the correct position. So elbows high, almost up to your chin. Have a go as well. When you stand up in this position, squeeze your bottom. Get the most out of that sit to stand as you possibly can. We're almost there. And stop and rest and recover. Well done. The next exercise is in a seated position. Okay, so no need to stand up. It's the one where we're twisting our body and bringing the weight to your feet. Off we go, 40 seconds. Kick the right pace for you, slow it down if you need to. Don't hold your breath. If you need to grab a sip of water, please do. Well done guys, you're doing really well. We've got 20 seconds on this one to go. Ten seconds. And stop there and recover. Well done. Next exercise is our side lunges, okay? And seeing as we're doing side raises as the next exercise, instead, if you want to bring your arms out, do so in front, okay? So we've got a bit of variation of position with your upper body. Time has started, off you go. Nice big strong push off that bent knee, okay? The further you step out to the side, the more challenging it's gonna be for your muscles. If you need to get rid of the arms, that's no problem. If you wanna put the weights down altogether, no problem as well. If you're seated, you can still be doing a big step out to the side with the arm raised in front if you've got it in you. Three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. Give those arms a circle and recover. Okay, next one we've got then is the heel raises up onto your tiptoes, arms out to the side. Again, hold on to something if you need to. Three, two, one. One, off we go. So heels and out. I'm doing it both at the same time at the moment, but if you need to go heels down, arms down, heels down, arms down, that's no problem at all. Keep breathing, stay with me. We're almost there. We're almost through the second round of these exercises. So you've done really well so far. Keep going if you can. 10 seconds. And stop there. Rest for 20 seconds. Excellent, well done. Hopefully you can feel that starting to burn in the shoulder a little bit now. Working a couple of our muscles there. We're on to the last round. So this time we're doing 50 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of rest. Exercise one is those hamstring curls. Off you go. Join in with me. These can be done seated. So if you need to do them seated, like this. You've got 50 seconds, stand up tall. Keep it under control. Halfway there, keep going. Focus on your technique. I would much rather you only do 
five in the whole 50 seconds and get your technique right, then do 25 and do every single one wrong. So really focusing on your balance, your slowness, your steadiness, your control, and your breathing. Round about now is where you need to do nice deep breaths. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Well done, everybody. Bicep curl with a knee raise. Three, two, one. Off we go. Knee up, bicep curl. Under control. Remember those teaching points that we've already been over. So make sure you're doing everything to the best of your muscle's ability today. Keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. Slow down if you need to. Lose the weights if you need to. If you are having a rest, please remember to keep moving your feet to avoid getting yourself feeling all dizzy. Well done. We must be almost there. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Well done. We've got 10 seconds before the next exercise. Next exercise, sit to stand, upright row. So I'll remind you, sit down, stand up, up and down. Okay, off you go. Join in. If you need to drop the level down, just go for the row. If you're not doing the stand today, it's no problem at all. You might have a go and do one or two and then complete the rest of the time in the slightly lower intensity version. Ten seconds to go, well done. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Ten seconds to recover, and we're going into our toe taps, okay? Off we go. Gosh, that ten seconds goes fast, doesn't it? Well done, we're halfway through, so keep it going if you can. If you need to drop it down, you could just do the arms, or you could just do the feet, or you could just march on the spot and then come back in when you're ready. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done, grab yourself a drink if you need one. We've got five seconds and the next exercise is our side lunges. Off we go. Without the arms if you need to, pop the weights down if you want to. Do it in the seated position, you've got all of these options. Keep smiling now, we are almost out, we're really, really close to finishing this section. So it's all about nice and slow and controlled movements to increase our muscular strength and endurance. We're almost out, we've got just under 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. And stop there. Well done. Keep your feet moving. And we're going into our heel raises. So up onto your tippy toes, arms out to the side. Off we go. If you need to take one out and focus on one and then the other, you can do that. You can do them one at a time. You can do them seated. You can get rid of the weights if you need to. Again, pick that right level. Have a think about how you're feeling, how your muscles are feeling. And then if you think, I had a little bit more in me. 
have a go at doing this again at a later date. You can find it again on the, uh, the Facebook page. And then you can do the exercise again at a slightly higher level if you feel that you're capable of it that day. Okay, and we are finished. Well done, everybody. Okay, pop your weights down. Grab yourself a drink. And just march on the spot. We're going to start slowing things down a little bit now. We're going to start our cool down in just a minute. Grab yourself a drink. Take a couple of deep breaths and just move in your feet for me nice and slow. Woo. Okay, little ones around again. Whatever space you've got, forwards and back, just nice and slow. Now it's really, really important that you don't just stop moving as soon as you finish exercising. That's when that dizziness comes into play because your heart rate and your blood pressure will still be high because it still thinks that it needs to be because you've just done some exercise. So that's why we're doing a cool down is to bring those heart rate and blood pressure back down towards resting, okay? Oh, finishing off the exercise nice and gently today. Keep those feet moving. And let's take that into a couple of circles there with the shoulders. Nice big movements. Couple more and then we're going to take it forwards. It's a bit more awkward to do it forwards, isn't it? Up to your ears and then forwards and down, okay? It's a bit more difficult to do that one. Okay. And then we're going to take arms out to the side and bring them down. Oh, I hit my light then. Didn't realise I was that tall. So up and down, nice and slow. Keep those feet moving, whether you're wandering slightly or whether you're just tapping your feet one at a time. Well done. Okay, rest those arms there and take it into a nice little heel dig. Deep breaths in this position. Really focus there on opening up the chest. Bring the shoulders back and take a really a couple of nice deep breaths in that position. You've earned them today. Well done. And then we'll just take it nice and slowly into side to side. And I just want you to pop your hands on the small of your back. And you're just going to push your chest forward and push your shoulders back. So this is a really good position to be in to, to practice some good posture, okay? Couple of nice deep breaths in this position and we're stepping side to side. If you're seated, you might need to shuffle forwards to the front of the chair to achieve this position. And if you've recently had some surgery or a device fitted, then you are still able to sit up nice and tall. Just don't overstretch in that position for a few weeks more at least. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's take it into a, into a seated position. Okay, from there, we're going to take it into those toe taps, I mean heel digs. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay, and what I want you to do is just pause with your leg out, okay, so I'll show you from the side. So I've got one leg straight, toes pointing up to the ceiling, I'm just going to pop my hand on the bent knee, and I'm going to gently lean forwards into that stretch, and I can feel it right down there at the back of my leg. And then bring it in and give your legs a little bit of a pump. And swap side, or that side. Toe pointing up to the ceiling, hands on the knee, sitting up tall. Really important you do this one with a straight back, so it shouldn't look like this. We should be nice and extended with a nice long neck in this position. Hold that position, couple of deep breaths. And bring it in. And then we're going to sit back forwards in the chair. We're just going to do a couple of those Steps out to the side. Well done. 
So we're slowing the exercise down, we're slowing the body, we're telling the body that we've finished our exercise today. So if you're thinking of going out and going and doing a walk or something that, like that later on, make sure you do a nice slow start to gradually get into it. So similar to how we've exercised today, we started off slow and we built that intensity up. We then did the bulk of our exercise session at that really good high intensity. And now we're just on the other end where we're slowing it back down again, okay? Okay, I just want you to stop there with one leg out. You're gonna sit up nice and tall and you're just gonna gently push against that knee. So you feel a stretch just here on the inside of that leg. Couple of deep breaths, keep your toes wiggling. Bring your feet together and then step the other side out and give it a little push in that direction just to open up here. Now if that feels uncomfortable at the hip joints, if that doesn't feel right for you, then don't add the extra pressure with your hands, okay? That's fine. Make sure you're looking after these joints. And then join your feet together. Let's just do a couple of heel digs. So keeping your toes on the floor now, we're just pumping the heels, one up, one up. And you're gonna do a couple of circles there with the wrists. After we've been holding on to those um, tins or weights or whatever you were using for a whole time, that is putting a little bit of strain there in the wrist joint. So we just circle them out at the end of exercise. Keep them nice and mobile. And then you can pop your arm out in front of you, um, palm facing up to the ceiling, drop your hands down. So your fingertips are pointing towards your trainers or your shoes. And you're just gonna pull back slightly there. So you're really extending that inner arm into a nice straight position. This one's particularly good if you've done lots of this, okay? So lots of this closing position. It's quite nice to do the opposite stretch at the end of the session and then swap sides. And bring it all back into the middle. A couple more little pumps there with the heels. Let's do some um, circles with your ankles. So sit back and just bring your ankle out. Circle one way, circle the other. I hope you can't hear the clicking that's coming from my ankle. It's not a good sign. And then swap sides. Make it a little bit smaller of a movement if it's uncomfortable or if it's clicking like mine. And then grow it as your ankle sort of warms into that position if you like. Okay, sitting nice and comfortably in your chair now. Remember, still good posture. Just because we finished the session doesn't mean we can go back to this position. Sitting up nice and tall, we're just going to do a few deep breaths. In and out. And in. And out. Big blow out. Last one, nice and deep. Bring it in. And bring it out. And give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me for your session today. And um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you're all feeling well. Drink plenty of water because it is particularly warm outside. Um, and yeah, thank you again for joining me. Thanks a lot for a brilliant session, Beth. Enjoy the best of your day and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.